All Bitcoin in the world is controlled and secured by Bitcoin keys that you need to unlock and move the Bitcoin to somebody else. And the majority of the world's Bitcoin is in a wallet with one key and one lock called single signature. The risk is if you don't have that key mistakenly give to somebody, it could be gone forever. So improvements came to Bitcoin, which allowed you to store Bitcoin that had multiple locks and keys of your choice called multi-signature. Now, why would you want to add complexity to your storage solution for Bitcoin? Well, I'm gonna give you five reasons you should consider multi-sig. Number one is what we talked about previously, single points of failure. If you ever lost that device that had the key on it, you ever lost the backups to it, you forgot where you put it or how to back it up, you threw away your hard drive in the dumpster, well then uh, your Bitcoin would essentially be stuck forever because you just have that one key. You could also have that key taken from you or stolen from you, whether somebody tricks you into providing that, somebody takes the device, guesses your PIN, guesses your password, steals the backup, and they have that one key that can unlock it and send it directly to their own wallet of their choice. Now you can create multiple copies of that one key to avoid losing that, but it doesn't solve the problem of somebody getting that one copy and moving that Bitcoin. So in a multi-sig, you can have multiple locks with multiple keys. So you could, for example, set up a two of three multi-sig where you have three total keys, two of them are needed to move Bitcoin. So if one key was compromised, if one key was lost, it doesn't justify the rest of your setup because you still have those two keys, protecting you from single point of failure. And second is multi-sig helps with your physical security. So we talked a lot about lost or stolen Bitcoin, but what if you were forced into giving somebody Bitcoin, what we call the $5 wrench attack? What's the cheapest way to steal Bitcoin? Well, go to Home Depot, buy a $5 wrench, demand them give your Bitcoin. If you had a single key that secured your Bitcoin, both you and your attacker would know at that time you have the ability to move your Bitcoin with one key. Multi-sig, you have multiple keys that you can split up in different areas. Attacker would have to follow you to those specific areas to move that key. Otherwise, it's just not physically possible to get Bitcoin. You could take this to the extreme and have keys in different jurisdictions if you choose, where you'd literally have to fly to go get your second key to move Bitcoin. It's not a perfect solution for security. That's why it's so important to protect your privacy and secure your setup. Third is collaborative key management or collaborative custody. Let's say you had business Bitcoin or Bitcoin you wanted to store in your family or in a trust. Now giving one key to that business executive or one key to that family member, if you had a single key to your Bitcoin, they are at risk today of unlocking that Bitcoin, running away with it, taking it, losing it, all that single points of failure your business partner or family member would have. In a multi-signature, we can delegate those keys. So you could have a key, a business partner could have a key where you'd have to work together to unlock the Bitcoin. It'd not be possible to just move it with one key. This is perfect for treasury management, X escrow of Bitcoin. You can even use key agents as a service. Companies like Unchained will provide a service for you to use their key as one of the keys in your multi-sig setup, helping protect from that single point of failure, helping with escrow, can help with loans and inheritance moving forward. I think the fourth benefit is inheritance. So if you had all of your Bitcoin secured by one key, you could pass that key down to the next generation, no problem. Yes, it's easy for them to do so, but the problem is today they'd be able to recover your Bitcoin or take it while you're still here and we don't want that. The only way around this, if you had one key would be a create a confusing setup for your heirs to recreate and ask yourself, would they really be able to recreate that puzzle while you're gone, know how to use Bitcoin moving forward? Now you can use the advantage of multi-signature in inheritance purposes. Yes, it can be more complex if you just set it up on your own, but if you use a collaborative key agent to have that other key, they can help you in that inheritance inheritance process. So that two of three multi-sig we talked about together, you could have an heir hold a key, a lawyer hold a key, you hold a key, a key agent hold a key, and they can work to recover the Bitcoin together while you're gone, but not have the ability to take that Bitcoin today while you're still here, part of that multi-signature. I wouldn't be very honest if I didn't talk about the negatives of multi-signature as well. I think first is just complexity. So single signature Bitcoin, there's thousands of wallets, softwares, devices that you can use, just plug in your Bitcoin and you instantly have access to it, can move it right then and there. In a multi-signature, technically you need all of the key information. So you need all of those keys together. You need to know the quorum information. So how many keys, how many locks you have. And if you don't have all of that information, you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle and you, your Bitcoin essentially would be stuck forever. So if you don't know what you're doing or don't get help 
with this setup, I would definitely think long and hard about setting up a complex multi-signature. And it's definitely not as convenient because when you go to move Bitcoin, you have to have multiple keys to approve the transactions, to unlock it and send it. There's also high fees when it comes to multi-signature. So when you send on Bitcoin network with just one key, you're telling the Bitcoin network, I own this Bitcoin, it's going to this address with this key. In a multi-signature, you have to tell the Bitcoin network all the keys that are associated with that storage solution. So if you had three keys, you could think of it almost as three times the fees. And multi-sig itself, to be honest, is a little bit archaic. There has been further advancements to get the benefits of multi-sig on a single signature from adding a passphrase on your single key to splitting up your key into shards. So there's a lot of other solutions right now that can bring the benefits of multi-sig with the benefits of a single key. Now those don't come without their individual risks as well. So to review, multi-sig can really help you with the single points of failure from losing the Bitcoin, making a mistake, providing it to an attacker, getting it stolen, can help with inheritance and help your overall setup of your Bitcoin when it comes to collaborative Bitcoin use. Please let me know if you have any questions, happy to answer them in the comments below. If you like this video, I got lots of other videos on my channel and uh, thanks for watching.